close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breath. You might feel it in the chest, you might feel it in the stomach, any place in the body actually, because the breath is the energy that keeps the whole body alive. And how does the breath feel? Does it feel comfortable? If it doesn't, you can change. You can make it more energizing if you want. You can make it more relaxing if you want. Figure out what the body needs right now and then provide that. As you do this, the mind begins to settle down because it has a comfortable place to stay. It has a sense of well-being. This is what the word merit is all about. When we come to make merit, like today, we're making merit for mother, grandmother, aunt. We have to get the mind in good shape first, because that's what merit is. If we're going to be dedicating merit to her, if she's going to be receiving and approving of the merit, it has to come from a mind that has a sense of well-being. You're generous because you feel that you have more than enough to share. You, you're virtuous. You observe the precepts because you realize that you have a sense of honor as being a human being. You don't want to stoop to doing things that are unfair, take advantage of other people or oppress other people, or oppress yourself. And so we meditate. This is where the real merit comes in, is in developing these qualities of mind. Like right now we're developing alertness and mindfulness. Mindfulness is what keeps things in mind, alertness is what watches what's going on. And at the same time we're showing goodwill for ourselves and for others. Goodwill in the sense that we want a happiness that's reliable. We've seen the happiness that comes in the world outside from gain, status, praise, and it comes and it goes. It's not all that reliable, because the people who give you things can also take them away. The people who give you status can take your status away. The people who praise you can criticize you. Wherever there's pleasure in the world, there's bound to be the opportunity for pain. So you want to look deep inside to see maybe there's something of higher value inside. Sure. So that shows that you have genuine goodwill for yourself, and you have goodwill for others because you're looking for a happiness that doesn't take anything away from them. And when you find this inner happiness, you actually have more to share. In this way, all the practices of merit are forms of generosity. You give food, you give shelter. Those are the, that's the gift of material things. When you practice the precepts, you're giving the, the gift of safety. And when you meditate, you're giving the, the gift of true happiness. And these are gifts that spread around. You benefit, and the people around you benefit as well. The people who have passed away, to whom you dedicate the merit. If they know, they approve of it, they gain merit too. That's what's good about merit. It's not like the happiness or pleasures of the world where one person gains and somebody else has to lose. In this case, everybody gains. So make sure that every time you make merit, you do it completely, in not only generosity, but also in terms of virtue and the meditation, developing good qualities in mind. We want happiness, we want a happiness that's complete, and so you have to make the, sure the causes are complete as well. 